Don't panic. Crackdown on communication. To start with, I have to say, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel on my alternate platforms, BitChute, MGTOW.TV, and Odyssey, you better now. As much as I restrict myself on what I put on YouTube, I'm growing increasingly skeptical of how long my presence can be maintained on it. We know that there are major cyber attacks coming that will likely be blamed on Russia. If globalists want war against them, there must be a pretext, of course. Before I move on to the inspiration for this video, I must ask, have you heard of Internet Computer? While cryptocurrency is a beautiful field in many respects that's empowered many people, I am heavily invested in crypto proportionate to my means. There remains a not insubstantial number of currencies that support the efforts of, as Catherine Austin Fitz calls them, the centralization team. For example, Pi is a project run by Stanford University. I may not have researched uh, Pi extensively yet, but I've been reading some unrelated patents from Stanford that are pretty horrifying, so can't be good. Cardano and its founder are somewhat associated with the World Economic Forum and the push for digital IDs, so it should not be provided support regardless of talking points on helping Africans. And then, of course, there's the movement toward central bank digital currencies, which is greatly facilitated by so-called stablecoins. The greatest threat, however, is a network and token called Internet Computer. This is a highly centralized network meant to serve as a second, possibly replacement, internet. Its company centered in Switzerland, the same land that's a major, highly private financial hub, and more importantly, where the Large Hadron Collider and all the associated efforts to free the watchers from the abyss goes down. Not a cause for confidence. Internet Computer is heavily linked to the World Economic Forum. A major aspect of Internet Computer, unsurprisingly, is digital ID. And with all the whistleblowing going on right now, it would be very convenient if the internet was crippled, or appeared so, to the point this system was used to replace the original internet, because a former president handing the internet over to the United Nations wasn't enough, apparently, unless that was a move to facilitate this kind of event, perhaps. Don't expect the internet to be recognizable a year from now, if even intact enough to be useful for conveying reality, and act accordingly. Buy external hard drives and make sure to download whatever you can. More importantly, write down as much as you can that you've learned about what we're contending with in current year clown world and what is planned. It's harder to surveil the old ways than modern tech. We're going to have to go old school. This will be important not just for relaying information, but for many even staying coherent and true to their path given how much the human brain is under assault right now with every weapon that can be leveled against it. It's quite possible the world will see many millions with dementia that aren't even old in the next few years. Now that all that's out of the way, it's time for me to get to the point that made me decide to make this video. My old phone's internal battery was breaking down a few weeks ago, so I got a new one. 4G, of course, avoiding 5 like the plague. Naturally, it's been serving me well. But a few days ago, whether it was Google given the Android operating system, or my cellular network, a BitChute link I sent to someone with images of self-assembling configurations of something in a pharmacia diagnostic method did not go through. In fact, my phone said it claimed it was sending days after I sent the link. This tells me that the censorship of SMS text messages by our occupying USSR, the United States Socialist Republic overlords, have announced on television, is in effect already. Do not rely on text messages from now on, period. Anyone a local that's important enough for you to share a video or website with use methods other than social media or text. We all knew this was coming, but I expected we had a few more weeks before they'd be able to react in real time that well. Maybe quantum computer AIs are wargaming. Who knows? So again, please subscribe to my alternate platforms, BitChute, MGTOW TV, and Odyssey today. One final note. We are already having an increasing number of politicians and officials pointing the finger at people that share data on certain hazards and that maintain the integrity of their genome as being blood guilty for any deaths attributed to an ailment. This follows the principle of satanic inversion quite naturally and marks the end of the First Amendment. The corporations that manufacture silent weapons for quiet wars will be free from any liability, while anyone not in favor of the pseudo panaceas will find themselves in prisons and re-education camps much sooner than any of us would be inclined to think. With each passing week, it grows more important for us to assist people in low-tech manners. Authorities will be in desperate need for a scapegoat, and there's never a better one for them 
than those that see through the bullcrap. In spite of the dark days ahead, I can still say, don't panic, because necessity is the mother of invention. I have faith many will adapt, and because all the enemy's attempts to affect the ultimate outcome of the timeline failed, and all possible future timelines converge into a single one with a positive end outcome. Until next time, however much harder it gets to have sympathy for useful idiots, pray for those persecuting you. We never know who will be near when disaster comes our way.